little Christmas magic is returning to the Blossom Natchez, thanks in part to Mike Lemaski. His donated time and effort is breathing new life into these handmade animated Christmas displays. So probably seven or eight years, these things were shoved in various places in storage and just virtually abandoned. Many of them, unfortunately, were lost. Over 40 years ago, a gentleman by the name of Linus Hammock, who worked for International Paper Company, a phenomenal artist, started putting these things together. So over the course of 20 years, he would work on these decorations, paint them, cut them out, and, and, and actually build them. Many, many of them were animated. Uh, the, the, his imagination was unbelievable. My challenge has been to keep his patterns, keep his style, and repair and redo with all now marine plywood, high grade, and yet keeping it totally in keeping with what he put together. The displays go up the day after Thanksgiving, but are operated on a limited basis due to their delicate condition. We got to remember that these things were, were handmade some 40 years ago in a fairly gentle, so we don't want to just run them constantly. Uh, so we run from 5.30 until 9. This one's not part of Mr. Hammock's. This, this was my wife's idea. She found a small pattern for these snowmen as they're standing together. And it wasn't animated. It was just a picture of the two snowmen. And it was actually a very small pattern. And we blew it up. And I worked on fixing the animation so that it could sit there and wave. My wife and my son actually did all of the painting that you see here. So I did the animation, they did the painting. So it's a family affair. Much like Santa, Mike works year round in his workshop to get the displays ready for Christmas. I think you'd probably be looking at six weeks work to put one together. There, quite a bit, quite a bit in them uh, uh, to do the entire thing along with all of the electrical and all of the controls and all of the interlocks and what have you. If you look, and how very patient he was cutting out all of the trees, the little horse, the little man. He, he's even got his whip in his hand. And all of this is cut out by hand and painted. The little church, steeple lights, his timing on the lights. He goes from daylight to dark, the lights around the perimeter, the season greeting. They all swap back and forth on a timed mechanism that he has hand built with wooden cams on a, on a small gear motor, it, remarkable. I mean, today you would just pick up a computer chip and a computer controller, set it, and be done with it. Every bit of this is manual. And Mike's manual labor brings back special memories for the people of Natchez that they can now share with the younger generation. two older sisters and a brother, and we would load up in the car and, of course, fight for who was going to be in the front seat, who was going to be next to the windows, because we all were going to go down to International Paper Company, where all these wonderful, um, all these displays were out. And uh, we would load up family friends and go down there and take our time and look at the Christmas lights down there and go through neighborhoods also. And thank goodness, in the last five years, it's really made a comeback. So and it's very special to have my nieces and nephews come home and see and witness what we actually got to do as a child. exciting to, to, to do good, to do goodwill, and, and to see folks really enjoy it. The gratification you get out of it, you can't be paid for that.